Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, I believe we're up to part 24 of the Blue Nose. And I say believe that probably every one of my opening statements is because I'm not sure where I'm at until I start editing these things and, I, and then I can see uh, where I post it and everything. Uh, I usually got to go back and see what I just put up so that I know what the next one's going to be. But anyway, here that's neither here nor there. Uh, this is going to be a long video. This is probably be my longest video I've made yet. So um, I really don't get into the ship or what I've been doing. And, and probably almost about halfway through, about 20 minutes maybe. I don't know. I, I didn't look. But uh, this is take three. <laughs> like I said, uh, I, I filmed this video originally about a, about a week ago, and when I was editing it, I wasn't real happy with the first part of it. So uh, where it's going to pick up after I get done uh, bullcrap in here, uh, you're going to see I got a sweatshirt on instead of this blue shirt. So that's the difference. Uh, today is uh, October the 30th. Yeah. And uh, I'll probably be putting this video up tomorrow, Halloween day, the 31st tomorrow. So uh, I was going through it, and I'm re-editing it. So anyway, uh, the first part of this, what I want to do is I want to give a shout out to some of the guys that, that watch me and comment quite regularly. Now I know there's a lot of you out there that watch. And uh, I probably won't get all your names if you comment it and stuff. But uh, I know you guys have got to have something better to do. Sit around and watch me. <laughs> but uh, I just want to thank everybody that, that does, you know, participate in this a little bit, you know, and, and comments back. Because some of these comments, they, um, they help me out. Some of these guys give me little tips, you know. Some of these guys have, uh, let me fix my hair. Some of these guys have built this ship already or in the process of building it or just bought it. Uh, one fellow is a little bit ahead of me. One fella is just a little bit behind me. And uh, so, I, you know, most of these guys, these are their YouTube channel names. Uh, very few of them have got any videos up or anything. And I wish they did. I would like to see their, some of their progress. But... Um, that's neither here nor there, but I just want to get a shout out to some of you guys. Uh, John, John Ford, uh, we we chit back, chit chat back and forth quite a bit. Uh, he bought his model right about the same time I bought mine, and uh, haven't heard from you for a while, John. I don't know what's going on out there, uh, but uh, I hope you're still hanging in there and building yours. Uh, it's getting a little chilly over here, John. Uh, it's been in the high 40s. What's it like out there in Arizona, John? Uh, I got another fellow. He's from the Netherlands. And uh, quite, he comments quite a bit. And he reminded me that I got some relatives over there. Uh, my last name is Brinker. Uh, Hans Brinker and the Golden Skates. Well... I've never put this finger in the dike, but it, it has been a few other places. Well, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, I think it was video 22 when I was doing my deck. Uh, I was showing you how I was putting the marks in there. And I don't know how to copy and paste. I, I, I just never done it, and, and I didn't want to screw with it. But uh, he went ahead and he put that website up for me in the comment section. So I really appreciate that. That helps out a lot of guys. If you go and want to see that uh, particular website, go down to the comment section, and he can get you there right away. Uh, probably not going to get your name right. I think it's Pete Newport. Looks like Newport, but spelt Netherlandishly. Uh, thanks a lot for that, you know. I got another fellow, uh, Reindeer, and when I look at it real fast, it looks like Reindeer, but it looks like it's spelled Reindeer. Uh, you've been leaving me some comments. He just bought the model. And uh, you've been leaving me comments, and right below where you leave your comment, 
there's no reply button pops up. You're the only one that that happens to. I don't know if you got it turned off or what. I, I'm no big deal, but if you're wondering why I don't comment back to you, that's why. Uh, another fellow, he's uh, this guy here, he's a couple steps ahead of me. I think he's doing his mast already. Uh, hyperglossia, and that's what it looks like. Uh, he, he'll get on here every once in a while and, and warn me about something or tell me what he's up to and, and how he's doing. Uh, i got a guy from Canada, Dave Mather. Uh, he, he's talking about getting into doing a tall ship and he's been watching quite regularly, comments every once in a while. Uh, get yourself one. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, give yourself something to do. If you're like me and you're retired, anything. Uh, get uh, uh, quite a few comments from an Axis 333. Steve Leslie, he comments quite a bit. Uh, he'll leave me some tips, some uh, things. I, I believe he's built one. I think he's built a couple of tall ships. Dave Bowen. And there's a Chris Dave. Now, me and Chris got into uh, chit chat back and forth one night for a couple hours. It, it was probably four hours. And we were talking about my Arizona build that I did. And he had built one years ago. And he was watching my video and he said, Well, I got to get it out and clean it up and straighten it out. Well, instead, he went out and bought another one. So he is uh, building another Arizona after having watched my videos. And. Uh, I got to give a special shout out to somebody that that this guy he only lives about 45 minutes up the road from me and uh, one of these days I'm gonna get up there and see this guy uh, his name is Frankie Day now if none of you guys have watched his channel you need to, to get on his YouTube channel and watch Frankie Day um, if you type his name in up there above on YouTube uh, it'll pop up some real pretty girls and stuff. That's not him. You gotta scroll down a little bit and you'll find a model maker named Frankie Day. Frankie Day. D-A-Y. And uh, from what I can tell from watching his videos, I, I, I believe this guy, I think you're in your 80s. I think you said that in one of your videos, Frankie. Um, and you wouldn't know it from watching him. He's a retired Navy man, uh, and from what I can put together, I think he's been modeling for over 50 years at least. He's, he's got some models that he bought uh, back in the 60s, and uh, from what he's been showing, I'll tell you what, his basement or his work area, I believe he's in his basement, is he says he's got over 500 models in his stash just his stash and he did a video one day of showing some of his stuff that he had finished and it, it, I think he, he made the comment of about a thousand models this man has built over the years and he's into everything um, just recently he was doing some card models uh, and I call them card models but they're paper models and when they're finished, you can't you can't tell what it is if it's plastic or wood or what. They're they're that good. He just won a couple awards uh, down here in Cincinnati at one of the uh, uh, model shows for his paper models. And uh, I was looking at some of that stuff on the internet, and I'll tell you what, I, you know, I, I'd have to see him first before I would even attempt to do this. But uh, give Frankie a shot. You know, pull up his YouTube channel and watch him. He, uh, he's right now, he's building the Trumpeter uh, 1200 scale of the Arizona. And I've been waiting for him to bring that back up. Uh, he started on it last year, I think, and now he's back on it again. And that is looking sharp. He also says that he just bought a 1200 scale of the Titanic in a paper model. That is going to be something to see. But his workload is ridiculous. I mean, this man is putting out model after model after model. And he puts up a couple videos a week. And I think he's even got a little part-time job. Where he finds the time for this, I have no idea. But I just wanted to get a shout-out to some of you guys. And if I missed your name, I'm sorry. Uh, 
you know, there's so many people that leave comments and I just can't get you as all. But th these are the guys that are, like I said, are in the process of building or have built or are right ahead of me. And uh, they comment quite regularly. And I just wanted to say a, a thank you to all you guys. Uh, none of this would be possible. I would have probably set this aside like some of them guys and probably gone on to something else had it not been for the comments and the hits that I get on my videos. So, uh, like I said, uh, we're going to just jump right into where I left off about a week ago and pick up from there. So if you see me with a different look or a different shirt on or something, uh, that's why. I think that's about it. So, uh, like I said, it's a long video. Uh, I, I don't know how to cut it down. You know, like I said once before, you don't have to watch them in their entirety. Watch part of it and come back later and watch the other part. But uh, that's the only way I know to do my videos is in, instead of chopping them up and having a little bit here and there. I'm already up to 24 videos and I don't want to make them any longer you know stretch this video this build out any more than I have to all right see that's why they take so long because I just keep yapping all right let's get on to where I cut off so uh, let me get on with the ship here and show you where I'm at and uh, I've got a little problem and I maybe somebody out there can help me with it but uh, let me let me say this too um, I just been kind of going along and doing my thing and looking at the plans the big sheet of plans and, and building my ship and, and it dawned on me wait a minute whoa whoa I gotta back up here and I gotta start looking at some of my research pictures just to make sure I'm doing things right now there is one website and let me pull this up here give me a second pull this up uh, I believe it's called yeah Nova Scotia, I'm too close to this light, Nova Scotia uh, Archives. And uh, I, I found this off of uh, somebody else's website, and it has got the best pictures that you could possibly find of the original Blue Nose. And uh, I've been looking at them a lot and, and seeing, they got a lot of close-up pictures since I've been working on this Windlash and my bowsprit, they got a lot of close-up pictures up in that area, which has helped me out quite a bit. So, uh, you need to check that place out, that Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia Archives. So, um, I need to step back for a few minutes and go through some of the pictures and make sure I'm up to snuff, you know. Uh, I don't want to go off of what model uh, shipways has given me so all right I've babbled on enough let's get to the ship but before I get to the ship I want to show you a, a few little things that I got going on so let me get the camera turned around okay first thing I want to turn talk about is these turnbuckles that they're using and this is uh, out of their book of directions and uh, they show you how to make these things right here alright these turnbuckles now I got to looking at that and I'll tell you why in a few minutes but I thought there's got to be an easier way you know me I'm always looking for an easier way now I've got the picture up right now over here on my com laptop off of that website I was telling you about Nova Scotia archives and they're showing a picture of the bowsprit and I can see up on the very tip of it uh, I would say about at least five or six turnbuckles up there okay and most of them are this type right here like they're showing this type of turnbuckle right here okay but they also show a turnbuckle similar to this one here alright 
So they're using both types. So what I came up with was this little thing right here. And let me take this one little piece out of here. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it this way. All right, here's some eye hooks, all right? Or little brass rings, whatever you want to call them. Now this one here, I've got some more coming. I ran out of them. I had them when I built the bounty. Um, I'm getting them from, and John, you're not going to like this, Hobby Link. Uh, they're going to send me a couple packs of them. I think they're 70 in a pack, so I ordered two packs. And you can see the ones that came with the model from Model Shipways. You can see the difference in them. This one's a lot longer, but the little circle on the top is about the same size. But what I like about these, are they're, they're a little beefier. They're a little bit thicker in their, in their wire they're using. So that's why I'm going with these. I like these better. Now these over here, this one here, this long one, I bought them from Hobby Lobby in the jewelry department. The circle on the top's a little bit larger than these two. And you get this long piece, but you just cut that off. It's no big deal. So I used a lot of these when I built the bounty. I used these right here. But I've got these on order, and they're coming. And as soon as they get here, I'll be able to finish up one of these parts I'm working on. But let me talk about these turnbuckles here. Let me get this one off of here. Okay. So here's what I decided to go with. Right here. That's going to be my turnbuckle. All right. And then what that is, is two pieces of aluminum tubing where one piece goes inside the other and then you stick them little eye hooks on the end. All right. Now I tried soldering this and of course, you know, I guess I don't have the right solder to solder aluminum, but I can't get it to solder. So I'll just epoxy this whole contraption together. Let's see if I can bring that up there real good for you. So that's what it's gonna my turnbuckles are gonna look like. Alright? And like I said, they are using these on the original blue nose. I do see when I'm looking at it right now. Very similar to that. And in real life, they got like a, <coughs> a big uh, nut on the ends of them so you can tighten them up. All right. So that's what I'm going to go with. That's my design, and I'm sticking with it. All right. Now, let me tell you what that aluminum tubing is. Uh, and I'm sure you could probably get this in brass too. If you run over and get it in brass, then you could probably solder this all up. But I happen to have this aluminum tubing laying around from my collection of stuff. This is stuff I have been picking up. Like I said, every time I go to hobby store, I'll pick up some more stuff. I got all this tubing, some uh, brass rod. I got some more tubing. I got some more and uh, you know every time I run over to the hobby store for something I'll pick up a, a couple more pieces I even bought some extra brass strips but they're over twice as wide as what comes with the ship so I don't think I'll be using that but let me sh I'll show you what a lot of this is for and why this is good having this uh, this stuff will really come in handy all right, so let me get this out of the way. So, like I said, you could probably build that turnbuckle. I'm sure they got uh, brass tubing out there, the same size as what I've got there. And what I've got now, this is outside diameter on this turnbuckle, is a three thirty second piece, and then a one sixteenth of an inch piece. This is in inches, three thirty second of an inch, and one sixteenth. And the one, I don't know which one it is, slips inside the other. 
and then you just put them two little hooks on the end and like I said I'll probably have to super glue or uh, not super glue epoxy this all together so it'll stay all right now and from what I can see I've made I've got ten of these ready to go to be put together I don't know how many I need but I got a good start on it I've got ten of them sitting in one of my little pill bottles ready to go okay so here's the ship and here's where I'm at and I'll be zooming in on this here for you in a little bit so you can get a better view of it um, let's go with this first thing I've done in one of my earlier videos about oh I don't know what it was video 20 21 I talked about this little hatchway on the bow of the ship and how I didn't like how I had made it too tall up here well I took my saw and I just laid it on this roof and cut it all the way off sand it down my roof real good and then I sand it down I was able to save it then I just really filed it down a whole lot I took it down to less than half the height that I originally had and it looks much much nicer just by doing that I had this way too high it almost could come down another half a millimeter or so but I can live with that right there that that's fine but I really brought it down it was way too high and that's another thing you gotta watch out for is you can't make this stuff too high because on the ship depending on where you got things <coughs> they could interfere with some of these booms because they might be sticking up too high so you gotta watch out for that alright the little skylight remember I told you I, it just looked funny I thought you know skylight uh, you know this I was thinking when you say skylight one of these things right here alright so I was contemplating building another one of them and setting on top of here then I got to looking at that website like I said I'd take a, take a few minutes to relax and, and look at things and see just you know am I right and this is correct apparently what happens is is the front end of this or the, the part facing the rear of the ship opens up like a clamshell like this is the roof it opens like that okay so this is correct what's on the original blue nose okay so I guess they just open it up and can let in some air and light so that saved me from making a mistake there all right now I got the bow sprint in got the front of it painted black and the rear of it inside the ship white got my wind lash all secured and some more gears on uh, I don't know what that is <laughs> a bell tower I don't know but it's got some more gears on it now I was attaching this box and let me tell you something 20 minutes 20 minutes after I glued that box down with this tight bond I couldn't get it off I wanted to remove it and move it in about two or three more millimeters there's not a whole lot of room over here on the side of the ship where it's at over here and I got to looking at the pictures and the reason I done this is on the t on the edge of this one gear there's like a uh, a thing here where you can wrap a ro rope around it and use it as a pulley system and I didn't want it overhanging the box but apparently from what I could see in the photos the best photo I can see yes it does overhang the box and just by a little bit because I thought you know guys gotta have room to stand in here you don't want to be into a a, a pinch position where you're gonna get hung up on one of these gears or something or get your hand pinched in between the roof and this and this uh, thing here but after I got looking at it in the picture I thought well yeah it does overhang that box 
So 20 minutes after I glued this down, I tried to get this box off of here and forget it. I couldn't break it loose and I really tried because I was going to move that box over about another millimeter or two, probably three or four, to give me a little more room over here. It is what it is. There's no change in it now. So everything you see up here is a glass attached and glued down. All right. Now here's where this brass tubing comes in at. All right. You can't probably see them right now, but I got these little rings up here on the front of the ship. Let me bring it up here to you. Can you see them a little better? Okay. I've got them up there. Now they are not complete because, like I said, I ran out of them little brass eye bolts. I've got two more of those to put on this first one, one on the top and one on the bottom. Now, according to the plans and even in the pictures of the original Blue Nose, there's only supposed to be three eye bolts up here. One, one on each side and one on the top. I'm going to go ahead and put another one down on the bottom and I'll explain that in a minute. But what I did was I sanded this down up here at per the directions to get it smaller in diameter than the rest of the, uh, the bow sprint. And I was going to go ahead and do what they said where you take the brass strip and bend it around it, solder it together, and then put these little metal pieces on here. Now I kind of did one, but what I found was one of these brass tubes fit right over that, okay, to give me this first section. And then a smaller brass tube fit right over it to give me this front section. So I'm not sitting there trying to pound this piece of metal strip around something and then solder it together and hope it, it's the right diameter. This brass tubing worked perfect for this. Now, I did go ahead like they suggest and you take another little piece of brass and you put it and you solder it on top right up here. Let's see if I can get this to show up. Okay? Well, you solder that on top. And then I had to come along and drill a hole in it. Well, I drilled the hole in it first, then soldered it. And then you got to come along and try and file it down so it ain't sticking up so big. Well, these little brass hooks like I were telling you. Let me take this one off here. Or a little brass uh, eye bolts. As I took this brass ring, I drilled four holes in it. And then I soldered in those little eye bolts. Okay. Now I cut them pretty short because I didn't want a whole bunch sticking out in the center in here. So I cut them down a whole lot. Then I soldered them on there. Left just enough sticking through that I could, you know, stick it in there and then solder it. And then I had to come along with a file, a rat tail file, and, and file it nice and smooth inside. So those, I think, are a lot better. A lot nicer looking and it works a lot easier. Either way, you're going to be drilling holes, so why not just drill it in this brass ring and then put them on there. <clears throat> so like I said, i got two more to go on here. Now, like I the directions only called for three, and I only seen three of these eye bolts on the original. <coughs> I am doing four. And here's why. These two lines that come off here on the bottom, okay? I don't know if you're seeing this, but these two little hooks or rings I got down here on the bow of the ship, they show both of them coming to this second eye hook on the second ring. I'm going to take one the top one to the second ring and the bottom one to the first ring. That's what I'm going to do with mine. So that's why I'm going with four up here. And then 
these two lines on the side of the ship, one here and one here, they will come to this little ring here on the side of the second one. I put an extra little ring up there. Let me bring this up and show you. I hope all this is showing up because I know it's kind of dark in here. It kind of glue me out. I'm not getting a light from the window. But you can see I put a little ring on there because I'm going to have multiple things coming to that point. Alright. They also show on the original a foot rope that comes from up about here to that there too. I'm going to take that foot rope and bring it up here to the front one. I'm going to use this front eye hook for that. So I got these two coming to the center here and one here to the bottom, one here to the bottom and then the foot rope will come down and up to the uh, side of this on each side. I also have a little eye hook here and I've got another one that goes in right up here and the reason I haven't got this done yet is because tomorrow I'm going to run over to the hobby store and see if I can get me some of that liquid stuff that darkens metal. Uh, I've never used it before I don't know if it will I know I've seen guys use it on this brass and it darkens it turns it like a black I don't know what it'll do to the solder so I'm going to go get that stuff and, and, and dip that in there and see what, I, what kind of results I get. That's why I haven't really got this finished. And that's why I can't put that other eye hook in up here until I get that done. Now they also show in the directions an extra little band here that nothing's attached to. So I went ahead and put that on there. I probably could have just made one big one and then drilled up towards the front of it, but I didn't. I'm not even sure I'm going to put that on yet. So, moving on back, I've got this little piece made right up here that helps hold that bow sprint down to the keel. You can see that right there. Okay? Now, I made that out of that brass strip they had. And I just bent the two ends over, drilled the hole in, either, in both of them, and then uh, put a little piece of brass wire in there to give it the illusion of a bolt. Okay, and then I've got some holes drilled in the side of it here. So when I mount it, I'm going to put them little nails that I've been using in there to give it the illusion of some bolts going into the side. Alright, but this also, I'm waiting on that liquid to darken it up. Get yourself some brass tube. That's the way to go to save you a lot of headaches instead of trying to uh, wrap that thin strip of wire they got around and, and solder it. Uh, most of this stuff only costs about three or four dollars for this brass tube and believe me it'll last you a long time. Alright, I also got a piece that goes up here in the front around this uh, bowsprit. I haven't finished it yet and it looks kind of nasty because of down here I'm not sure I might have to redo this but it goes up on the front up there and it anchors to the deck by a couple little eye bolts uh, glued down into the deck like I said I ran out of them I'm waiting for them to get here so once they get here I can put this little piece on up here that's the only thing up here missing okay so, I'm going to continue working back with all my different pieces that I got going on the deck here. And also, I noticed from some of the pictures of the original, in one picture, the stack, little smoke stack, is turned like that, and in another picture, it's turned sideways. Like I said before, I'm going with it sideways. So, I think uh, I'm going to go ahead, start positioning all this stuff on the deck. <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice. And then once I get everything on, then I'm going to come along and put my clear stain on there. And like I said, the reason I don't have it stained yet is because I want to wood glue 
this down with wood glue and like I said 20 minutes and I cannot budge that box and I think that's a much better bond than trying to glue this down with something on top of that clear stain all right so once I get everything on then I will stain my deck I think uh, next thing I'm gonna do is build these two little ships that go on here and see what I can do with them and uh, finish up my bow sprint a little bit I don't know if I'm gonna do all the wiring yet still have not decided if I'm putting that little thing on there now I talked in one of my videos where I got this off of a picture of the blue nose 2 the one that uh, the latest one that's been launched and I said how this you could tell this has been painted on the side of the ship I got to looking at the original blue nose in these in this uh, website that I got <clears throat> that design looks like it has been carved into the side of the ship with like a, a v-shape type of, of carving where they just you know if you can follow what I mean it, this is really drastic but it's a v-shape type of carving into the side of the ship what color it is I can't tell but that's what they look like they did with the original but like I said I'm still up in the air with this the wife doesn't want it I really think it should be on there but you know if the wife's happy I'm happy okay so let me get you a close-up shot of this and then I'm gonna ask for your help I need some help on something okay I got the camera in my hand so it might be a little shaky but uh, there's all this that had to be done up in here with this uh, bow sprint and you can see I took and I drilled them little holes and put them little nails in there like I've been using on the ship just uh, once I got this glued down then I just drilled them holes and epoxied them little nails down in there so they go way down inside the ship now I was going to leave my windlass, uh, actually I painted it silver, and I was going to leave it silver until I got to looking at them pictures, and it looks all nasty and greasy and dirty, so I went with the black, and I think that's a lot nicer looking. I think that set that off. But you can see here, let me show you this, right here this little piece right here it looks like one of these where am I at right there I wish I would have moved this box over a little bit more probably I don't know I guess that's probably four four millimeters at least and that would have gave me more room over here but like I said I can't move that box now and it is what it is all right let me get down here pull the ship back a little bit show you the bow right there let me get it where I you can see it a little bit better there alright so like I said using that brass tube was it saves you a step much much easier this way using that brass tubing So, and here's something else I was going to do. I was thinking if anybody wants to do that, where they uh, bend that wire around and solder it together, hang on a second, and, and I'm going to put you on hold, and I'm going to show you what I was going to do. Uh, <clears throat> i got to throw this in here. Um, this is not a hundred percent complete I just glued this little break on here last night so I haven't had a chance to get to it I still have to touch it up a little bit and then there's a piece of wire that goes between this and this little piece up here on top 
got to get that on there yet that piece of wire and I'm gonna run over to Hobby Lobby probably tomorrow while I'm out running around and see if I can find me some kind of chain or something that I can use as a drive gear that goes from this gear down here up to the gear smaller gear up here so I'm gonna see if I can find me some kind of chain that's in scale something to uh, to finish that off right there so before I get any comments on it yes I, I I'm gonna do that okay um, now this brass strips that they give you that I talked about how they wanted you to make a circle out of it solder it together and then do this kind of stuff up here on the bow here's what I was going to do I thought I was going to have to do that so I went out to the garage and I brought in my assortment of drill bits and I pretty much got just about every size you can think of so I thought well I can wrap that brass strip around there and take a little hammer and pound it nice and flat and get a nice roundness out of it and then solder it together instead of trying to do it off of the the wood of the bow sprit okay or any of the wood that you got coming up the mask and all that so I was going to do this I was going to wrap that brass strip around there and then solder it that way so if you got yourself a nice collection of drill bits like that you can get just about any diameter you might need and I will say this, one thing um, about the brow sprint that I did not do, and I noticed that it said in the directions that it was supposed to be flat up around here. I didn't do it. This dowel rod is the same diameter all the way through. I didn't taper it. I didn't flatten it on the bottom or anything. The only thing I did was shave it down a little bit up here in the front to get these rings on. So, oh, and I did taper back here where you got to square it. You square it off back here. I did that, and I did put a little tenon on the end of it so it would fit into my Samson post. But that's the only changes I made to that bow sprint. Now, I need your help. Let me show you here. Here's the big sheet of plans. We're right here. Anchor. Okay. There's my anchor. Fits right on there. They want you to get this piece of wood made. And it's got a little bit of a taper to it. And some sizing or rope on the side of it. Okay. Here's that piece of wood. Fits right in that square there. On the anchor here. All right just perfect same size and all okay now here's what you wind up with <laughs> look at this thing that that is just to me that ain't right that is way too big if you ask me I figure <clears throat> I'm just guessing probably five feet at least on that anchor and that's longer than that so you tell me that board is six feet long nah that that is so out of proportion it's not funny it doesn't look right it looks stupid and I'm not going with it I believe if I do this method I will cut this down probably in half I will probably cut that in half now here's why I'm asking all those pictures I looked at and there's hundreds of pictures on there and I have to admit I haven't gone through them all but I went through probably half of them nowhere in any of those pictures do I see an anchor on this ship I don't know how they're storing it I don't know what it looks like I don't know what to do with it now on the blue nose tube they have got a different type of anchor looks the same here but they got and there's a name for it a different type of anchor where there's a metal 
post comes out with a ball on either end that can be slid up to give a T-shape. And once it's on the deck, they bring it back down and it kind of folds up together. If you can follow me, you have to look at some pictures on the internet of the Blue Nose 2 of a bow shot. And when they store on the Blue Nose 2, there's a little block of wood down here that the end of this anchor sits in. And it kind of leans up against the ship like this. If I can get it to stay there. Similar to that. Okay. Now, you are not going to do that with this. This is, I mean, what do you do with this thing? Look at that piece of wood sticking out there. Now, I know they got a block of wood here that says, uh, oh, I can't remember what, it called, what they call it in the directions, but it's for the anchor to rest on. Is this thing supposed to sit on here like this and tie off with this eye hook here? kind of looks like what it's supposed to do. I don't know. So if anybody's got any ideas, and I know I I can get on the internet and look up hundreds of pictures of other guys' ship and see what they've done, but I kind of want to get this right. And I don't think I'll put both anchors on. From what I see, the anchor wraps around this side of this wind lance over here. So I'll be mounting this one anchor over here. This other one, I might just lay on the deck. I've seen pictures like that. Because there's supposed to be a little box back here, which I probably will build a little box here that the chain goes in. So when they pull it up, they got all the chains stored in an open box. So I don't know what to do with this anchor. Anybody with any ideas or can, you know, uh, send me a picture <clears throat> in one of the comments, you know, attach a picture or something uh, if you happen to find one from the old blue nose. This just ain't going to get it. This, this just looks too silly. Much too big. It just, I, it ain't right. And if I lay that up on there, it's going to be into that box. So I don't know what to do. You know, I, I want to at least have one anchor on the ship. Uh, I like what I did with the bounty, where I had an anchor down on the ground in front of the ship like that. But this is going to be under full sail, so that would be unrealistic. And you can't hang it from nowhere up here. <laughs> well, what do I do with the anchor? Okay, I think we got a uh, long enough video there. So if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. Frankie, that's you. You're the man. You're the old Navy man. You've been around for years. What do I do with that anchor? Like I said, this, this definitely ain't going to get it. I'm going to cut this down. If I go with this method, I will cut this probably in half. Make this much smaller. And then I cannot believe they would bring this up with rope being around it on both sides, take it apart. I don't see that happening. So there's got to be some way to mount this acre up here to where it's out of the way. And that kind of looks like the best way to go. And I think by shortening these two, it won't look so ridiculous. And this is probably what I'm going to do. So, unless I, somebody sends me something better. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I got to go get a Coke. I lost my voice.